know what? We know what he is, Joe? Yeah. And then what we is just this? Bought, just bought this. It's a yellow. Amin came by and we bought his yellow. Oh, yeah, his yeah, 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 that's right. Okay. So. How much? Uh, 11.5. Nice. But it's got uh, some scratching on the side. We're probably going to have to get polished. But it looks good. It's like everything else looks brand new. I think she wore like a Cartier bracelet or something with it because you could yeah, tell that it's scratched. Scratchy, yeah. The girls love to wear their Cartiers with it. That's so cringe. But look at this. Oh, no. The Rocco? Mm hmm. I like this so much more because the 1103 red has the, has the black veining. This is the white. It's really, really cool. Yeah, so I'm going to try and call Ben. I got that in. Uh, so Ben wants a new golf watch. And he used to like to use the red 1103. Um, but that one, he played golf with it and ruined it. And I think it's because it's a chrono and super... Uh, yeah, that one's been in service for a while. Yeah, but we actually, I'm about to surprise him because it's his birthday, I think, today or yesterday. I think, no, it's today. His birthday is today, I believe. And so the watchmaker just called me. I thought it was going to be like another two or three weeks. He called me. He's like, I got it in. The part came in. So he's going to send it in tomorrow. Uh, so what I think is going to happen is I'm thinking Ben's going to want to add this to the collection. Uh, even though he has already the 1103 in red. But uh, we'll see what he says. He's but He's going to trade it, dude, for sure. He's not going to have two reds. I don't know, dude. He has 12 RMs and he's got... All sorts of different, like he even has watch. He even has some RMs that are the same color, yeah, or that are very like, similar. Like, bro, he has he has five. But the world times that he I has, know, but he has like five eleven oh threes. He has five eleven oh threes. So it, to him, it doesn't matter. They're all different colors, but they're five eleven oh threes. So it doesn't matter. But I'm gonna call him, see if he wants to take that. Um, especially now since we sold the fifty two seventy, he wanted to use the credit from the fifty two seventy to transfer it into a golf watch. So I think this is going to be the one, but we'll see. This has the suspended movement. Yep. And it has the, the grommets in there, so that vibration. Yeah, this, this will be cool. And I called RM on it. I talked to a guy. I'm like, hey, this is supposed to be a Rafa, so it's uh, supposed to be for tennis, but because it's automatic, am I, are we able to play golf with it? And the guy said, yeah. He goes, as long as it's like not super crazy intense, like golf, like you're not playing super golf, he should be fine. So I don't think. What does think, that even mean? I, th I think he was just meaning like as long as you're not like going crazy with it, like I don't know, maybe ham like I mean, golf just taking a golf. sledgehammer, Super like golf. <laughs> I know, but I mean I don't know, like and maybe Ben will sledgehammer a bunch of golf balls, but I think he, they said in general because the 1103 is complicated that this one is probably going to do better. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to give Ben a call here in a few, but he's plus in, I mean Rafa plays tennis with this, so yeah. I mean, well, that's what he said. Vibrations. He said it was meant to. It was meant to take the abuse. The only thing that scares me is the automatic. But I called RM and they feel good about it. Ben feels good about it. I think the that the right the well the one's not suspended, and it's super. It's not super complicated, but it's a chronograph, so it's more intricate. So this one's time only. I think it should work for what he wants it for. Yeah, I like the shade of this one. Yeah, that's really nice. These are the APs we were just talking about. Okay. Yeah. What was it that I saw online? Where are all your APs? These okay, so we've got these here. I'm covering these here. We sold a couple, and then okay. we've got, you know the Jarnos over there. We've got these two. I don't know that you're into the bling, but we've got the uh, factory iced out right here. Yeah. We have the perpetual right here, which I don't know if we showed you that last time. And these are the other APs you have right here? Yes, these ones right here for now. We just got the code in, the green code as well. This one has some serious weight to it. Yeah, that one's all stainless steel. Yeah. 295 is what we have for, but we might have some room on that one. I think that you should look at that one in the mirror, that, that, uh, which one? The ceramic one. This in one? Your, in your left hand? This one, yeah. yeah. You should look in the mirror, because that one, what I like about that one is you mentioned scratches. Actually, both of those are going to be fine, but you mentioned scratches, and that ceramic, I mean, it's, it's going to, it's, you might it's shatter better, if you hit it super hard. So this one's not, right? That was stainless steel. Right. right. That's steel. And these seem to like show every yes. 
That's like an that. AP thing in general. Yeah. You have to be really careful with AP because of the way they're polished. They right. just show scratches. Yeah. We have the right watchmaker to repolish it for you in the future, but it's annoying while you're using it, especially if you're a perfect perfectionist. That one right there, since it's titanium and ceramic, it's going to withhold against scratch. The titanium is going to withhold, but the ceramic's really going to like. Wait, is this yeah. titanium or is this yes, titanium? Titanium, titanium, titanium here, ceramic out for the bezel. Really, what kind of number could you do for me on this? Because I really like this one. Right now it's. 29.5, uh, let me see. So I actually, I'm already a little bit under margin on on the one you're looking at, so it's already on a good deal. But I know I'm gonna be working with you and, and we'll do some more deals in the future. Yeah, um, I'm gonna bring you Jay too, and he'll buy, he'll buy watches from you. Yeah, so yeah. I, I wanna get you taken care of for sure. I think we, we could probably come down to 29.3. See if we can make a deal there. Again, at that point, I'm still just cutting into my margin, but yeah. what, um, I want to earn so your business what I, too. Here's what I'm gonna do. Yep. I'm gonna buy this, but I want to wait to do everything okay. until I get back from Mexico. I want a couple grand or something to put deposit on this, just so you don't Yeah, let's it. do the 20% deposit. It'll okay. be 20%. Sounds good. Thanks, John. So, John, I don't know if you guys remember John, but my client uh, just came in. Uh, he's the one with the McLaren from last time, and he bought the black on black Rolex Daytona. He comes in, and I've been trying to get a hold of him to be able to sell this offshore to him. He's been wanting this offshore. We were looking at a 26 470 uh, Navy. And we were really close to pulling the trigger, but he wasn't feeling good yesterday. I couldn't get a hold of him. And then boom, he shows up in store. I did, wasn't even expecting him. And he's like, hey, I'm really excited. Uh, I just got this piece recently that I think I can trade for an offshore. Uh, now I'm looking at like whatever offshores you guys got. So I started throwing everything we got at him and he ended up going with the 26 400 IO within like, 10 minutes. He was like, that's it. I love this watch. 44 millimeters. It's huge. I like it. Let's do it. It's in great condition, which is really important to John. He said, I'm going to make the deposit on it today, lock it in, and then uh, we'll finish the trades. I'm going on a trip to Mexico, and then he's coming back next week. So by next week, we should be able to have him, his AP offshore, which he's been, I mean, we've been trying to get him this over the past several weeks. He should have it in hand, ready to go. So I'm working on getting a 5981 r uh, for a good client. Uh, he's actually out in Oklahoma. So what he likes to do is he'll give me a call. He'll order the watches if we don't have them in stock. And he has very good taste. So I'm working right now on a 5981A, which if you know, that watch was discontinued in 2014. So there's not a whole lot on the market right now readily available. Most people are either keeping them. It's not a readily available watch, but it's also for us and the outreach we have, luckily we're able to find these things pretty quickly. I'm looking for one with certain condition, certain color dial, which is the blue, that's the one he wants. And then uh, he wants to try and be at a certain price or just get a good deal on one. And so I'm shopping around for him right now. I've gotten back a few. Some of them just didn't hit the mark. Others are from out of the country and it would just take, I think, too long to get it in for him. I'm just working through all those details right now. And I think hopefully we just found the one. So we should have it within the next couple of days. Also, we actually just got another watch in this morning that I want you guys to see. It's a beautiful Submariner 16800. This is the date version. And this one is back from 1984. And something that's very important when you're buying one of these is having all of the papers and original stuff that it comes with. This one comes with the Rolex calendar booklets, the papers with the date that it was purchased. It has the original Rolex tag, box, outer box. And I mean, it has everything. The condition on this thing is immaculate for the age especially. And then my favorite part about this and what makes this one stand out from any 16800 is the patina. The patina on the dial and the bezel. The hour markers each have this little patina. It almost looks like a very soft cream it looks beautiful in my opinion and then the best part to me is that faded bezel it definitely looks like a submariner but whenever you see this on somebody you know it's not just any submariner honestly in my opinion it looks fantastic so a good client of mine called me about a day ago we've actually been talking through the weekend and uh, we just sold his 5270p that's the deal we did in Hong Kong last week and uh, long story short uh, he was just looking at some options and I've been sending him some options we had talked about getting him a 5968. I think you guys had even heard that in previous episodes. We talked about maybe doing a couple other watches, some Sky Dwellers. And uh, he really thought about it. We had a discussion. 
uh, he's just like, you know what, man? Like in the part of life that I'm at right now, I don't really need like that. Fifty nine sixty eight is great, but I'd rather get something I know that I can golf with. And you know, he has his he has his lieu of like uh, business watches and some watches he wears that are a little bit subdued. But he really loves to rotate his watches. He really rubs shoulders with a lot of big heads, and they always freak out about his watches. And it's a good conversation starter for him. So for him, it's worth it to have these watches. So you know, he reached out and he's like, "Look." Um, now that we've sold that watch, I'm really looking for something to play golf with, something I could take to the golf range. Well, about two months ago, three months ago, uh, he brought me in his 1103. Actually, I think it's only been about six weeks, and uh, he brought me his 1103 Red NTPT. The reason I thought it was longer is because I've known about it for a while, and he was wearing it, uh, but it wasn't keeping good time, and then it all of a sudden stopped running. So he brought it in to me about six weeks ago, and we took it in, and with RM, we have to order the right parts. Long story short, he's had it in, uh, we've had it in service, and I'm about to surprise him because the watch is ready and it's going to ship here by the end of the week. So in the meantime, my partner that we partner with in LA to get some of the bigger pieces, uh, we bought this piece together and we have this RM35 Rafa. It's a 3502 in red NTPT. The only thing I'm a little concerned about is that he already has the 1103, um, but he loves the 1103 model so much that I'm thinking he might take both. We'll see what he says, but I'm going to call him, try to figure this out, see if we can make up a deal on this watch uh, and, you know, figure out the credits that he wants to use towards a sports watch, uh, quite something similar to this. Because, again, we're looking for something that he can play golf with, so it has to be shock absorbent. We don't have to, we don't want to have the same issue. Actually, to preface, the 1103, the reason it stopped running is because he played golf with it, so he thinks because of the swing that he ruined it, which makes a lot of sense, so... Now we want to make sure that we're not repeating that process with the new watch. So we were looking for something like a Rafa, a Bubba, or a Johan Blake or something that can withstand that abuse. And uh, we found the Rafa. He likes it. And it could either be a replacement for the 1103 or he might even keep both. And it's the black on black. It's not the Panda. Perfect. And then I can just come in Monday. I'll bring my stuff in and we'll kind of figure it out from there. Okay. That sounds great. We'll see you then, Ryan. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. All right. So uh, this guy, Ryan, just walks in. He's like, I love this store. I didn't know you guys were here. This is so cool. I love watches. I've been into this hobby for a long time. And we talked about some watches. He left and he said, you know, I'm looking down the road. I'd like maybe uh, Yacht Master 42. And he's thinking about some unique pieces. He hits me up and he's like, hey, I've got this Navy Offshore I'd like to trade. He didn't realize that when he had bought it, he made this transaction. He traded a Pepsi for this Offshore and he, he walked out kind of 5000 under and I told him that today and he was kind of shocked he was like well shoot I don't know I've seen prices so I explained it to him and then told him hey because I, I felt so bad for him and I worked hard with the brothers on making a deal I said I'll, I'll get you this naked Daytona that I found because your goal is a Daytona for your next piece right now I found one and I'll give it to you for cost uh, but I can only give you 15 on your offshore you bring in your extra cash a couple trades we'll make this happen and I think that we can actually get a deal on Monday, earn his business, and then in the future get him a Yacht Master 42 and, and keep working with him. All right, guys, we haven't done this in a long time, and I feel like it's time that we did this again. Uh, today is just another day that we get a bunch of watches in, and so we wanted to share some of those incoming uh, watches that we get to put into inventory. First, let's start off with one that came in this morning. This one came in through as a walk-in traffic from an NFL player. It's a 2023 Batgirl that's been worn. It's got a couple little hairlines, but we're gonna get those buffed out. It'll look brand new. So this is perfect for somebody who's not necessarily looking to pay the little bit of a premium there is on a brand new watch, and they want to watch in really good condition. It's been worn once or twice, so the hairline should buff out pretty easily. Let's move on to the shipments, Caleb. Yeah, first things first. We got this uh, smaller package. Let's see what's inside. All right, guys, so we got a client who shipped in the Panerai, the new green version of the submersible. Very beautiful watch. This will be available on our website. Okay, there's a couple of it, stuff in here. Let's see here. All right, no date Submariner, 40 millimeter. Just came in. Card on this is a 2020, very classic watch. And then we also got this beautiful date just with a silver dial. Such a clean look. This particular one that we're getting in is 2022. So guys, check out our website. This will be available at 2022-126-334. This is a 41 millimeter date just with that beautiful fluted bezel and the Jubilee bracelet and uh, check it out. And guys, as much as I'd love to tell you that this is all current timing, like this video, 
We're filming it. We're about to upload another video as we speak today. Today, the episode that we're putting out is the one where we go to Colorado. We're ahead. So when we film this unboxing, some of these watches might be gone. So for future unboxings, for future watches, make sure you're going to our Instagram because every time we get new inventory, we're constantly putting it on our Instagram. That's where you'll get the latest, the greatest. That's the easiest way to keep up. That's what social media is for, keeping up with people and keeping up to date. And so that's what we use it for. Our website, as much as we'd love to keep up and we do get things on there quickly, it just, it takes some time. We have to take the watch in, process it, photograph it, do all the stuff that goes along with getting it on the website. And so that takes about a week, maybe a week and a half sometimes. So go to our Instagram, you'll see the latest there. It'll be uh, in the description down below. All right, next thing's next. I already took a little peek of this and I'm pretty sure I know what, what this is already just by looking at the box here. Should be a really special piece here. This will be my first time seeing it. So we actually had an inquiry from a client. I've been working with Derek on this one. Yeah. Um, we had a client that wanted to buy a brand new 5500V. And so spoiler alert, that's what this <laughs> is this. But I'll let the configuration be the surprise. Oh man, that is so cool. So some of you might not even have known that this is a an option. Vacheron in 2022 came out with this 5500V in rose gold, and it is literally beautiful, it's phenomenal. Uh, and I mean, you get that beautiful blue dial in rose gold. I mean, this is so much watch for the money. You get an exhibition case back, you get the Cote de Genève, you get the Geneva seal, I mean, what more can you ask for? And this thing is sub $100,000. If this thing said yeah. paddock, or if it said AP on it, it would be north of 100,000. For a fraction of the cost, you can get a watch from the Holy Trinity with what I think is a way better dial than the one on the 5990. And you also get the easy remove bracelet. So much value for the watch. Again, you're comparing this to like, let's say, let's say even a 26240 OR, and you're getting the straps that don't come with the AP, but they do come with the Vacheron. So you're getting a lot of use out of something like the rubber, yep. maybe not putting as many miles on the bracelet, but it's such an integrated, very well thought out look to the point where you can just have a little bit of fun with it. And uh, you know, obviously take yourself a little bit more serious with the leather. It's a really good configuration. If you're a sucker for chronographs, then I mean, this is the way to go in my opinion. And honestly guys, if you're a consumer who is looking for that next watch that's gonna take your collection to the next level and you're looking at things like the 5990 you're looking at things like the 26240 from ap this to me is just Damn. way more value uh in the watch world i personally like to look for things that punch above their weight class and to me this vacheron does that it's a part of the holy trinity so it's going to be respected in any circle you go if there's a dude wearing a 5990 he's gonna compliment your watch because your watch is almost just as beautiful as his, if not even more beautiful. It just, obviously that's all relative to the individual. Oh my but what's cool is you can also Look put it that. on the rubber strap and you can also put it on the leather strap. So you have options, what which is look. just incredible. And it's really what I love about Vacheron in general. Guys, if this is what you're after, give us a call. Uh, yeah. This one's gone already, but we can definitely source them for you and I think you're gonna be very well pleased with this watch. This is a big boy watch for sure. Well, Josh takes a closer look at that. We got this last box that's a little bit on the bigger side. I mean, I don't really know what this is myself, but maybe there's a couple more watches in here, so. You wanna know the best thing sometimes is opening up a box just to find another box. All right, we'll try that again. That's awesome. Jeez, uh, third box? There you go, Caleb. Those are nice. I'm taking this box out. It's very clear to me that we're opening up an Omega. Two Omegas. Two Omegas. Or Omega, as we hear a lot of our clients <laughs> say. So is it Omega or Omega? Yeah, that's cool. That is so cool. So yeah, I bought these. And shout out to our boys in blue. This is a police officer from New York. And uh, he is uh, selling these two watches. He told me he was about to get a nice little promotion, which is gonna come with a raise. So he's preparing for that because he wants to buy something special for him. So he's trading in this Omega uh, Seamaster. And then also over here, we have a beautiful, uh, as you can guess already with the packaging, it's a beautiful Sapphire sandwich. It's the new reference with the new bracelet. Very this is the uh, Speedmaster. Guys, if you're looking for something sub 10,000, that's special, that has a lot of heritage, oh, yeah. that you can wear anywhere, everywhere, and just never feel out of place. This is actually a watch that to me punches way above its price point. It's just a beautiful, beautiful 
watch. One thing I had always complained about with Omega is I did not like their bracelets. To me, they were bulky. I don't know, they just gave me generic vibes. You know, when you look at a Rolex and the way they do their bracelets and all these other brands, there's this refinement and like this design and finesse that they have yeah. that I thought was lacking with Omega. With this new bracelet, I mean, you can see that they're every bit a watchmaker as every one of these other brands. It's crispy. That bracelet is beautiful, it's really nice. They did, now on these, they offer the glide lock in them. And then with the Omega Sapphire Sandwich, the reason it's called the Sapphire Sandwich is you get that exhibition case back in the back, which is Sapphire. And then you also have the Sapphire Crystal. So, such a beautiful watch, sub $10,000. Really nice dailies. They have kind of like that Submariner, like sort of, sort of a uh, way about them. The only thing I will say about this is that it is a manual wine, so there's obviously the daily maintenance about that, but both of them just kind of have that like presence. They have that recognizability that both of them have. They're both pretty classic in that regard. They're both black on black. They're simple. They're just, they're just gonna be something that you wear all the time. You just never have to worry about it at all. Versatility on these, like changing out the straps is just all the simpler. You get this deployant buckle as well, so if you can find a rubber that can actually go along with that, that'd be perfect. These That's are, the watch to experiment on. Yeah. Beautiful watch. So guys, yeah, these are some of the watches we got in today. We normally get way more watches than this, but just one, today was just one day that we had some time to shoot this. And again, these will be available on the website for you guys, uh, but keep up again with our Instagram where you'll see the latest and greatest there, usually in real time. And so uh, we'll see you guys then. question is this, you went straight for this one. Is this the watch that has been I mean, kind of catching watch, your eye yeah. for a while? This yeah. one or the gold one, but uh, this was yeah. more, of, more of my budget. More of your budget, I was gonna ask, because it's a, it's a large range that you're looking at. Yeah. And if you're comfortable, we could definitely look at sourcing you. What we could do, if you're open to not new, we could look at great condition, pre-owned, maybe a few years older of a solid yellow gold, and that's gonna mark it down typically several thousand, but you're still gonna be most likely in the low 30s. Yeah, I, let me get your card. Come this way, yeah. and let me get your information, and you can take my card as well. Hey guys, so I just had a client come in, brand new to the store. Uh, he came with his wife, and they literally were eating across the street. Basically, they just saw our store and decided to walk in, we're like, dang, didn't know they had a storefront. And then he pulls up to the Rolex case and says, I'm looking for a bluesy. And saw this two-tone that we have. This is a 2021 box and papers. Great condition. He was like, I've been looking for this for a long time. So we talked about some pricing options. If you wanted to get brand new, if you wanted to go for this one, we also have another one that's coming in that's naked. But he's leaning towards the two-tone, a little bit better for his budget. And uh, we connected. So maybe here soon, he's gonna be able to get himself a two-tone bluesy. In the meantime, I wanted to share with you guys a cool story about another watch that I just got in sourced for somebody. It's a really, really cool AP15550. This is 2024 brand new. So basically the story behind this, I had a guy who messaged me out of the blue and he was like, hey, I'd like a 15550, what do you guys got? I asked him a clarifying question and boom, he said, actually, never mind. I got some quotes. They're all like 41, 42. I'm not even looking anymore. I said, okay, hang on, hang on. Let me see if we can do something for you. What dial are you looking for? And I just kept the conversation going until I realized he wanted to be like down in the 38,000 range, which is not super doable. But I talked with the brothers and I was like, what could we do? Because he found one that he wanted to get down to 38,000 and it was listed for 40 and he found it on a site that could be a bait and switch. So what we did, we did some digging. We found one that uh, would give us a small margin, but I could turn it around for him at 39 and get him taken care of. And I said, hey, if I get it to you for 39 and I find one, would you take it? He said, yeah, I'd take it at 39. So I turned around, found this brand new 2024 AP 15550 for 39. We're shipping it out today and he's really excited. I think it's a beautiful one. Doing good, doing good. Um, I wanted to call you because I actually just got in a watch I think you might be interested in. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's a RM11, sorry, it's an RM3502. Um, it is red and TPT. I know you already have the 1103, but uh, I know you love playing golf in that watch. And uh, I know last time you ruined it. 
So when I so when you told me to look for some watches that you could add to the collection that you could feel comfortable with uh, playing golf with, my partner in LA had this one, uh, and so I had him send it over. So I was hoping you could come by and look at it. I know you were out of town, so I don't know when you get back, but I think this one would be a winner for you. You might be willing to keep both of them uh, because the other one has the black veining and this one has the white veining. So I know it's not like super different, but uh, at least so my thought process is you could have the 1103 for going out because I know you like to take that out and I know you like the 1103 a lot. But if you still wanted to have something that was a similar look that you could golf with, you could have the 35. Yeah, definitely. So you could definitely golf in this. Uh, I literally called. So before I called you, before I did anything, I called RM themselves and I spoke to a couple different representatives. And uh, the first guy was like, yeah, I think so. But he's like, let me check with my manager. So he put me on the phone with his manager. And basically, I mean, obviously it was made for the tennis player. And so it has a suspended movement. And so he knew that my only concern was because it was automatic. Yeah, it's automatic. So that was my only concern is that because it was automatic that maybe that would uh, take away from its ability to be used for golf or be used for sport. But uh, he, he, gave, he gave me assurance that it should be good. Um, and it also uh, the, these uh, rotors have adjustment. Uh, so what we could do is have it sent in to get the rotor adjusted. Uh, if you, I forget which way it goes, but if you set it one way, it'll spin more freely with less movement and if you adjust it the other way it'll spin it'll take a little bit more force to to spin so my thought process is is you kind of consider this to be like a hybrid like you could still manual wind it when you need it um and then when you're playing golf obviously the momentum of you swinging will you know make that rotor probably go a little bit and so if i adjust it the way that it's supposed to it shouldn't move too crazy so i think it'll as far as the shock uh, factor, the you know absorbing the shock from the swing, I think you should be good. Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing. So actually, I, so when I got this sent in, um, I actually uh, got a. And I'll, I'll get you a picture. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah, so I actually, and good, good question. So I actually, so just to kind of give you an idea, so the straps for the Bubba, your Bubba, the, uh, the uh, ceramic gray one, those straps are based off of the RM30, and the RM35, the Rafa, is also based on the RM30 size case. So because of that, uh, all the straps that are on your, that you have for your 30, and also for the other uh, RM30 diamond set you have, you can take those straps and interchange it uh, and, and have those all be interchangeable. So I know you have an orange strap, obviously, I don't know if you wanna put orange on a red RM, but you could do that. Uh, if you wanna go super Christmassy, I'm gonna send you a picture right now. I ordered it, uh, I, know, I know you like a bunch of straps and I saw my buddy had a, a large Velcro green strap yeah, I, don't, I mean, I didn't get this green strap for the red RM. I technically got this for your Bubba, but I'll take some pictures of it. I'll, I'll install the green strap just so you can see it. It is going to be too Christmassy, I think, for your liking, but I didn't buy this green strap for the, for the Bubba. But to answer your question, you can interchange all your current straps you have for the Bubba. So even the pink one, all the ones you have, and I can get you any color you want so that you can interchange. And then you'll, whatever straps you get for that, because I know you have a bunch of 1103s, you can now have a bunch of straps for your 30s. Oh, the yellow strap? <laughs> I think the yellow strap would look good. We'd have to get a yellow crown on it because uh, I think that would tie in with the script on the dial because uh, the Richard Mill uh, the Richard Mill logo and then also the where it says RM3502 Rafa is also yellow, so I think that would match pretty good too. Okay, all right, sounds good. I'll do that. Well, enjoy your vacation, and uh, I guess we'll talk uh, soon. I'll send you some pictures once I have this installed too, by the way. So, and then price-wise, what am I looking at all the difference? So price-wise, this one is a little bit more than that. I believe we're asking like 19.5 for your Batgirl. Do you know what year that one is? I believe it's a 21. 2021, okay. It's between 19 and 21. Okay. Roughly for you, it'd be somewhere around a $5,000 difference. $5,000 Yeah, to trade up. Yeah, and then for sourcing a bracelet, you said about 2,500? Somewhere around there. I think so, yeah. They stopped selling like parts 
Uh, they used to just, if you wanted a bracelet, they'd sell you a bracelet, but now they just stopped doing that. Yeah. They wanted to keep everything more exclusive. Sure. And if you, if you want a different bracelet, now you have to buy another watch with that bracelet. I like that. Okay, so this is number one. What would be, you said Sky Dweller? I would say a, like a blue sky. This one's a little bit of a curveball. I probably don't think it's up your alley, but might as well put it out there. Let's see it. Okay, so again, What's this one called? The bluesy. I'll try it on. You don't know until you try it on. <laughs> exactly. That is true. Yeah, I mean, this would be my third sub. I don't know if yeah. I'm going to use this sub, but uh, it looks good. Yeah. Probably, probably not this one. Mm -hmm. I still like the root beer over that. Do you want to try on the blue sky? Yeah, I'll try on yeah. I like it, but you know what? I, I keep going back to that. Yeah. I love that more. That one's definitely, I mean, with the rose gold, you don't have a two tone right now, do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that would that would be something a little different. This one would kind of be like the replacement for the Batgirl, I feel like. You know, you get out of the Jubilee, you get a little bit more substantial of a watch, and then you get a blue dial versus blue bezel. That dial's special. That one, I don't I don't even know what other watch they make that dial on. Maybe just that? Yeah, I think so. Because they have the GMT, the yellow gold with the green dial, but that one's more of a matte. It's a matte green like a flat green and then uh same thing with they have a day date yellow gold with that same flat green and then this one's the only one you can get in sunburst like that Talking about the daytona yeah the uh, john mayer that's what it's called yeah Why is it called that? <laughs> so john mayer was in a he was in an interview and he had that watch and he said man i feel like this watch is very understated and in a few years this it's going to skyrocket in price because everybody's going to realize how nice this watch is that's exactly what it did after that interview. Look at that. Yeah. Marketing at its finest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That watch peaked at like 125000 Classic. It's just clean lines. Clean lines the, the, it's mainly known for the bracelet. It's an integrated bracelet that just flows all throughout. And then, I mean, it's definitely more of an elegant watch. Whenever you put that bracelet like under lighting and you're just moving it, it shimmers like crazy. So this is called the Royal Oak. Yes. And then we have a few others right here, like for you to compare. So you can just see the different kinds. This is one of my absolute favorites. Uh, dials. The dials killer. This is definitely their best blue that they make. So they make other blue dials, but they don't like anything like this one. This one's the best one. The only downside with this one is that it's white gold and it's a special edition. The only reason I say that's a downside is because it's less attainable. Sure, of course. Yeah. Past couple of weeks, you've been telling me, hey, look at Rolex, look at Rolex. Would you say, hey, look at this over that? <laughs> That's a tough one. They're different levels, in my opinion. Right. So this one is your everyday luxury Rolex. This one is probably more of like one of those special pieces. You might baby it a little bit more. So what's... What's stainless? What kind of what kind of level are we talking about? So stainless, if you're getting the newest version, it's going to start at around 40. You can go 15500, which was from 2019 to 2021, I believe. Those are a little bit less. You can get them in the 30s, like high 30s, mid 30s, depending on the year. And then there's 15400. It's lower, mid, low 30s. And I think you're going right to the main point because you have offshores, obviously. So like yeah. some of these down here. You probably wouldn't even consider those, but you sometimes you try those on and you're like, man, those are those are not bad. I'm figuring out what I like and what I don't like. Yeah. And I didn't think I'd ever like that, but I like it. Yeah. Hey Ben, how's it going? That's awesome. Okay, yeah, I think that's a good plan. So you want to take the Sky Dweller, the factory. You're talking about your meteorite factory diamond set, correct? Yeah. Okay, and then you want to take the 1103. So, so, okay, so I get it. You don't want to have two red watches. So I get that. I thought you might want to do it just because I know you like the 1103, but that makes sense. I, I just wasn't sure what you wanted to do. So you want to take that watch. You want to take the 1103. You want to take the Oyster Flex Sky on diamond, the factory diamond set, and you want to get the full lifestyle one, the one that I sent you? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, so what did you want to do? Do you want me to just trade them in? Do you want to put them on consignment and then uh, we wait and get the most dollars to put towards that one? I just don't know if you, I'm not sure what you want to do. So I just, I'm, I'm just checking in. So my thought process is we have, so I know you're not in a hurry and I know what you paid for these watches and I know you don't want it to, I know you're already taking a hit. So my thought process is, and even though the diamond set, the full diamond out uh, chandelier one, the prices have come down. Cause I think when you bought all these watches, it was 1.5 million. 
and I just sent you a I just sent you a comp or the one that I offered you. We said what eight hundred. So I mean, it's dropped drastic. Uh, it's dropped drastically, and so I think uh, that's a really good price. But because I, you know, if you were to trade in, and even though the other one's cheaper, I know with you, like we have a relationship here, and so what I'd like to do is, and I think what's best for you is since you've already lost quite a bit, especially on the eleven oh three. Um, and then I don't know what you paid on the diamond set. What did you actually, what did you pay on the diamond set? No, 450. 450? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, <laughs> well, I guess that may, I mean, I guess that makes sense. You paid 450 back then. That's when they were 1.5. So, okay. So then, well, yeah. So definitely because of that. So right now the market on them is the NTBT. I think we can list somewhere around like 380 to three no honestly i think that's a little low so i think like 390 is probably the number and then on the diamond set oyster flex uh we could do uh 230 is what i'm seeing the market at um they've come down a little bit especially because the new references come out but honestly they're so identical it doesn't it just doesn't make sense and honestly because you're not in a huge hurry i know you've got enough watches um what what i think is might happen or maybe what happens is we find I, this one is an amazing deal at 800 and I'm hoping that we can replicate it in the future. But I think if I do some digging and put on a couple of discreet calls to some people that I know, uh, if I look in Hong Kong or some some places, we're finding some really good deals. So if you'll just let me look, that gives us some time, put these watches on consignment, hopefully they sell pretty quickly. And then as soon as they sell, you take that money and you put it into the other one. I think you're going to be winning on all. I think you'll just be winning there. So then uh, would it be okay? I know you're out of town, but uh, is it okay if I meet with uh, your assistant or I don't mind coming to your house or whatever you'd like? Can I pick up the two watches? That way we, we have a photographer coming in for product photography tomorrow. So uh, I could either do that or we can wait till Monday, just whatever. But what I would hate is for us to miss the photographer tomorrow who's coming for product photography. So if that works for you, I can come over and meet with uh, your assistant and... Uh, and then we can we can get that ready for you. So by the time you get here Monday, we at least already got everything in, in motion. Yes, sir. I will. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Enjoy your vacation again. <laughs> All right, brother. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. So I am just packing up the AP Offshore 44 millimeter gray dial, gray bezel for John. He knew he wanted an AP. We were working on getting him uh, an offshore. And then he came in and he found this 44 and he was like, this is it. And this is exactly what I want. So today I'm wrapping it up for him. He should be coming in and then making the trade and walking out with beautiful pieces. It's all you. Okay. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, I right, appreciate guys. it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it, man. All right, I appreciate it. I'll be bringing my buddy in soon. Sounds good, till next time. Cool. That's pretty much how it goes with John. The cool thing about John is he really, really trusts Wolven. I handed him his check because uh, the way he did it, he did deposit early, trade later. He ended up actually having overpaid just a little bit. So we handed him the check. He didn't even have to look at it. We handed him the watch. He didn't even have to look at it because he knows how we do things around here. We do it honest, straightforward, and it was wrapped really well. We make it top notch. So John, hope you enjoy your watch. Looking forward to seeing you next time when you bring your friend in and everybody else. If you're looking for a watch here at Wolven, come see us. Which one, the one that you were wearing? The one, yeah. Yeah, the one that I was wearing. I love that one. What but, happened with it? So he's looking for something different. Okay. Uh, so I'm just making sure uh, I can pitch this to somebody else, um, but if you look and see his email here, uh, it looks like basically it was just regarding shipping. We're working this out with FedEx. Uh, he's got here. everything set to go. Sorry to interrupt. Before you hear, can you check to see if that guy shipped up the Nautilus? Yeah. Check the track. Here. Okay, let's go. Go in. Yeah. Okay. Oh, bro, he didn't. What? He didn't ship it out yet. He didn't ship it out? Mm-mm. You gotta reach out to him. Yeah, I will. I happened. I don't know. I gave him the label yesterday. All right, so that 11 That's is- sick, bro. It's a 2018. Is this Ben's? Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the paperwork for the 1103. He didn't give me the box, though, so I'm gonna have to. But dude, check this out. You see? Dude, this thing is crazy. So, what is this? I don't know. I don't think you saw this. The first time he ever came in, this is what he was wearing, and I was like, all right, this guy means business. <laughs> Ready? Dude, it's like a shoebox. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> Freaking sick. Dude, 
And isn't that oh, ridiculous? Man. This is insane, dude. Okay. I've never now seen Now think one about that watch, but with all these baguettes going down the bracelet on a full diamond out bracelet. That's what he's trading. Is that what he for. wants? Oh my so we're gonna gosh. Trade, we're going to literally trade this. Bling, bling, bro. And we're going to sell the ARM 11, and he's going to get that watch. Yeah. But there's literally, a, it's a, like, that's the watch that, like, Drake and only some celebrities have. Yeah. And uh, it used to be like 1.5 million. Now it's like come down to like 800, like half the price. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's like, I want When did he now. buy it? He, well, he, no, no, I'm talking about the. the oh, you're one talking about wants. the other yeah, one? Yeah, this one. Yeah. He honestly, well, he paid like, he paid a lot of money for it. <laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah. So we'll see what yeah. happens. But, dude, yeah, this thing But is it's, insane. it's really sick, bro. Actually, so I don't always love Sky Dwellers, but the Sky Dweller on Oyster Flex looks really sick. And yes, the diamonds are insane. I know. So what I was worried about is the fluting because it's a sky dweller is like super iconic but the way they did these baguettes still looks and bro yeah look at look at the you can see it on the edge you see like the diamond cut around the bezel like that yeah. so sick yeah it's perfect bro dude dang even the clasp is insane i wonder what year this is he didn't tell me dang so he's he's going for the fully, the fully iced out one out. Yep. for like 800 yep dang. andrew check this out dude Bro, it's legit. Caleb, look at this. Chris. That was because you're using a little bit. Go get the rotating bezel with the super sick design to the meteorite. Caleb, you gotta get a real. So take it outside with the with the bad bunny. Oh, that'd be sick. Take it outside and do <laughs> and do Drake. Bad bunny versus Drake. Yeah, yeah, bad bunny versus Drake. Which one are you taking? Yeah, yeah. Which one would you take? Which one would I take? I don't know, man. That's tough. That is really hard. I think I'd actually take this because I love it on the Oyster Flex. To me, it, the contrast is insane. It's really cool. Yeah. You used to call me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Gotta call that hotline bling. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of, bro. Uh, bling bling. That one, that one. This is really not a stop. What? Yeah, the rest is a bunch of cuss words, so you better not. Yeah. He, he's like, we stopped that part. We'll get one time. And that was Dude, the whole watch is perfect. I mean, the whole watch Dude, look at the way that they do the like the, look at the clasp. Look at the clasp. The clasp to me is the clasp is so sick because you get that high polish with all the diamonds on it. It just looks so clean. Dude, what he's getting, I like that's gonna be really oh, flashy. He wants to, he wants to, so he's really flashy. In, so he's gonna get the Rafa, but he's gonna trade in the eleven oh three because he's like I, I thought he was gonna keep all the watches, but yeah, the red one. Yeah. He's getting the red Rafa, but he's going to trade in the 1103. The, it's coming from service tomorrow. Does he not know about the red and white mini? Yeah. I don't, I didn't really mention that then because I didn't really realize it until after. I, I mean, when I, or I didn't really think about it when I was on the phone, but maybe when he sees it, and he's going to come see it on Monday. So his, uh, his uh, 1103. Yeah, we can see him look side by side because his life. Guys, thank you for stopping by to this week's episode. Guys, we're really working on getting some incredible inventory into the store. We're trying to think, take things to the next level. We've got a lot of things in the pipeline, a lot of things we're working on. We're actually gonna be revamping a lot of things like our website, like we talked about last time. We're gonna be doing a lot, a lot of overhaul to this business to better serve you guys, to take things to a new height. You know, if you always stop uh, working and developing, you get too comfortable, you're not growing and that's not what we wanna do. So. We're gonna be changing a lot of things around here, not because it hasn't been working, but because we wanna be better and better and better and better. And we wanna make sure that there's no uh, glitches for you guys, make sure that there's no lack of communication. And there's been, you know, there's always room to improve. And so that's what we wanna do here. Like I, we, I've said this before, but when I first started this company, I had three goals, to have the best watches in the world, to build a legacy with my family, and to have the best customer service and that's what i'm always going to strive for with this with this brand and with this company that's what woven stands for so guys thank you again for the support to this channel thank you for watching till the end to you guys that are loyal the guys in the comment section below thank you so much what was your favorite watch you saw this week comment down below let us know what it is but in the meantime like subscribe guys we want to get the subscribers thank you guys for helping us cross that four thousand mark but we used to have 21,000 subscribers before and i want to build that this channel back up to those days where we had 21,000 subscribers unfortunately we lost that and we want to regain it so help us support us if you love the woven brand if you love the navarros please subscribe to our channel comment down below and help us with the like that really 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 helps the algorithm and guys again we want to be able to better serve you and it really helps when you guys give us support through this channel thank you so much we'll see you next week